for the first time nilijipeleka ofisi mimi mwenyewe bila kupeleka na mtu mwingine it was so hard for me kuingia kwa hair industry for the first two I think two people mm. ile wanyo afri nifanya hair 90% of my life nifanya hair dressing mm. people know me for hair mm. ukiuliza dv fika nyewele tu mm-hmm. people know me with this with this design mm. ya nyewele mm. so hata ukuja fika mm. kuuliza tu uso jamaa ameshuka nyewele most of the salons in fika mm-hmm. wamepitia hapa kwangu nimetengeneza um, celeb wanyo mm-hmm. unajua those two people wako mtu anakuja unaona huyu hey, ni musician mm. hey, huyu ni politician mm. My name is Juliet Modoni and you're watching Pika Town Today 3T TV, your number one online news channel where we tell the Pika story as it is. And today we are in Pika Town CBD and where we've come in search of a hair guru. This is a gentleman who's been in the industry for long. So we want to learn how he has been able to survive, how he started, where his interest for hair started, and we hope that by the end of the day will be able to inspire somebody who is out there and uh, to show you that from humble beginnings you can make something good. Hi Mambo. Poa sana. Tuambie majina yako and what you do. I mean it was Davy. Uh-huh. Oh my full name is David Gitao. Uh-huh. Njogu. Uh-huh. According na national ID. Mm. Uh-huh. I'm a hair designer. Mm. Uh-huh in Pika Town mm. Rafiki House mm. uh, That's what I do for a living Okay ukisema hair designer mm. exactly hair designer kinyozi mm. msusi exactly nini Hair designer uh. means that there's no hair that siwezi kutengeneza uh. nywele zote mm. whether it's kunyoa mm. ku design nywele mm. kupaka color mm ku kama ni dread mhm any kind of hair mm. whether it's a weave mm. ku braids mm. these styles zote unaonanga whether nikutengenza watu at home mm. for those people want location mm. ku manana ya beauty mm. kufanya makeup mm. eh story kama ya ukiitwa occasion kama big function mm. na corporate mm. naenda kutengenza watu mm. At the same time kama ni wakati kama fashion show beauty contest mm. you can you can you can do all these things at the mm. same time That's not necessary in the salon okay. so you can do uh, as for myself i can do it story anywhere anywhere whether ni kwa nyumba mm. kwa, kwa barabara hakuna mm. style zote whether ni traditional hairstyle mm. ama the latest nafanya zote that's why i'm a hair designer ah, okay. yeah. na sasa dv mm. wewe umezaliwa wapi ulisomea wapi Uh, it's a long story mm. but uh, I'll cut it short kidogo. Mm. <coughs> Mimi nilizaliwa pale panaitwa West Pocot. Mhm. Penguria. Mhm. Kapenguria Hospital to be precise. <laughs> <laughs> For those people wanajua maybe wanajua Kapenguria <laughs> because of the Kenyatta Lishiku akaeko wa Kapenguria kwa exactly. kwa <laughs> all those things. <laughs> That's why <laughs> jina Kapenguria inaweza kuwa ina familia inajulikana. Eh. Sasa nilizaliwa huko. Eh. Fortunately or unfortunately. Mm. During the 1992 clashes. Eh. Tukahama. Mm. Kuja tukakuja Kitale, mm. Kitale atuko settle sana. Mm. Then tukakuja pale pale to Eldoret. Mhm. Sasa Eldoret is mm. where nili naweza naweza na foundation yangu ya kugro. Mm-hmm. That's I went to Kapsoya Primary mm-hmm. in Eldoret. Mm. Later I went to Chebisas Boys High School. Mm. Yeah, in Eldoret mm. Mm. Yeah. High school is where I discovered manane ya nywele. Mm. Unajua nikisema high school discover manane ya nywele, mm. siko nimeenda kusomea nywele in high school. I went just for <laughs> normal masomo kama kawaida. Mm. Lakini like other person in, this country and I was a high school kusoma. Eh. So when I was in form 2, mm. or generally mm. in that school, mm. coach Bisas Boys High School. 
tuko tunapata ngo permission on Saturday mm-hmm. afternoon mm. kwenda kunyoa nywele in the nearest shopping center mm. pale panaitwa Chef Coilel mm-hmm. so tuko tukaanza kuteka advantage kila afternoon Saturday mm-hmm. or Sunday mm. tuko naandikiwa leave out ya mm. kwenda kunyolewa nywele mm. afu narudi the only evidence unaweza patiana ya wewe umenyelewa nywele ni atu umekuja kama umenyelewa nywele mm. so mm. all other things ya kuweze patiana kwenye ulikuwa uweze patiana evidence kwenye ulikuwa kwenye umefanya mm. ile masaa umeenda mm. kwa sababu unaweza danganyana ulienda ukateka a lot of time mm. kulikuwa na line kwa kinyozi kwa sababu at that time it was just a small center mm. na hiyo kinyozi mm. unaweza patiana excuse kulikuwa na watu wengi sana mm so shule iko napatiana permission ya kwenda kunyolewa nywele mm. afternoon mm. but at the same time mm. shule kakuja uh, the, the community around mm. ikaleta shida sana akasema mm. hawa watoto wanatopanga every saturday mm. kuna vitu wanafanya huko de- definitely unajua we are boys are boys mm. so others were kwa na indaji and other things mm. maybe kunywa kufanya nini so wazazi walikuwa worried wakasema kwa nini watoto wanatoka shule mm every sunday every mm. weekend wako huko nje mm. so that's the point where mm. i don't know how the deputy principal mm-hmm. mr mwale mm. alikuja na hiyo idea mm. so during parade time mhm aka announce akasema from today onwards mm-hmm. akuna watakuwa anaenda kunyolo huko nje kwa sababu sasa watu walienda wakachafua sana huko nje wakachoma jina ya shule mm. so akasema anybody mwenye ako na experience ama ana experience whichever way akachomoa aka, aka kitu hapo mwenye alichomoa alichomoa mashini ya kunyoa akasema from today onwards kila mtu atafanya nyolo huko shule ndani hataki kujua venye watu watakuwa wanyolewa but the machine is there anybody who wants to come kwa ofisi yake akuje achukue hiyo mashini ni atakuwa kinyoa watu by that time I was informed too mm-hmm so na jo from two au na confidence sana mm. lakini that's the bado uh, from two bado ni ile time unakuwa uki uko na kierehere mingi na bado ujui kawe ni mono ama mm. ujui uko nyu uko mm. so after parade mm. i just got that confidence mm. lakini ofisi hiyo majo ofisi za high school wezi enda tu hiyo tu ilikuwa ni ndaka kujipeleka police station. Ah police station ni better kwa sababu watu wanaenda police kwenda ku report. Wanaenda for other things. Mm. So high school office ni kwa tunaogopa sana. Mm. In fact unapitia uko mbali. Mm. So nijipeleka for the first time nijipeleka office mimi mwenyewe mm. bila kupeleka na mtu mwingine. Mm. Anaweza kijana strong. Nikajitodis. Nikamwambia I want the machine. Mhm. Kambe do you know how to shave? Mhm. Kambe no. So I don't know how to shave. Mm. And how are you going to do it? Nikamwambia mm. vinyenye naona kwa kinyozi. Mm. I'll give it a try. Mhm. Akanipatia mashini akaniambia from today onwards. Mm. I'll make arrangement vinyenye watakuwa kinyolewa. Kwa sababu definitely mm. uko na mashini. Mm. Hakuna mtu ambaye anazajileta mwenyewe. Mm. Kunyolewa. Mm. So akasema ta arrange vinyenye atakuwa anafaa nini? wanakuja wanakuja kunyolewa. Mm. Akanipatia mashini mimi nikachukua nikaenda naye kwa class. Kwa sababu hujawaishika mashini ever. Nikaenda shi shika tena. Nilikuwa naona tu watu tuko tunanyolewa kwa kinyozi tu. Eh. So the only thing I know inatumia ni estima. Eh. So una plug in kwa kwa socket uh-huh. na kuna button ya kuwasha. Uh-huh. That's it. <laughs> so na mashini unajui kuna so many things. Mm. Iko na namba ma different numbers number 1 number 2 for long hair for short hair. But you see mm akinipatia mashini mm. alikuwa ametoa all these other numbers mm-hmm. alikuwa mwacha number 1 peke yake mm. simply because students was konywe any other style mm. style ni moja tu mm. ile kama ya kama ya nini uniform uniform mm. kwa sababu ni shule mm. so i pick the machine with number 1 mm. gauge number 1 mm. so ni kana kwa class mm. After 20 minutes mm-hmm. alikuwa na knock each and every class mhm anaingia anapata 
the class is still is still going on mhm mm akuja akachukua amekuja na makasi mm. anaita kuja anakata watu wanyoa watu wanyoa watu ile msalaba ile ile unakata eh. msalaba unakata msalaba so akikata msalaba mm. anakuambia tomorrow i don't want to see you with this kind of hair mm. the only person who can have a contact ni nani wewe ni mimi so alikuwa anyoa paka form 4 karibu hata anyoa paka walimu lakini ni sawa tu basi ngeleza kunyoa walimu he started manane anyoele but i was not doing it full time eh uh-huh. nilisoma uh-huh. tunafika hapo kwa lab uh-huh. unatoa shati uh-huh. bila style bora nywele yote iko iko chini uh-huh. so i used to shave them uh-huh. hakuna style hakuna kupiga mtu kata hakuna nini so that's the way i started kunywa watu na sasa ulikuwa na wachaji for the first two i think two people uh-huh. ile wanywa free uh-huh au ngine wote nilikuwa na wachaji. So t- we can safely say mm. your love for hair ilianza hapo. Ilianza hapo to an extent where by. Mm. Those people when you walk anga nilikuwa na wanyua kitambo bila style. Mm. Walikuwa wa, wanaenda home. Mhm. Wakirudi kwa mafungua shule, mm. ni mimi nilikuwa kinyozi wao. Ah yeah. Wewe unajua maana ya kunyolo maana ya nyuele. Eh. Inakuanga addictive. Ikule okay. zata that sure. you unataka kwenda kwa one person, person. Yeah. so in high school they mm. used to have customer mm. mwenyewe asema hai mm. nyolewa home mm. atakuja kunywa watu mm. hata kipato kwa mission mm. aende kunyolewa huko nje mm. atasema tu ndanyolewa mm. na hapo anaita gits at that time yeah. oh gits yeah. gitao yeah. hey, cool kid yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sasa umemaliza high school yeah. huko eldoret yeah. After that mm. ulienda college usome kazi ya nywele ama where now did you learn easy skills zingine uko nazo I never used to know that ati manene ya ya kunyoa mm. itai kuja kuwa part of parcel of my life mm. niko na nyoa shule for fun mm. na to escape mm. duties mm. You understand? Niko mm. anyo for fun mm. to escape duties mm. and to have some other extra money for bread na kuyafanya nini mm. ya kuandika barua. Sikika mm. watu wanaandika barua bado sikizi mm. ya kununua stamps. Mm-hmm. Sasa hivi siko na rewind stamps mm-hmm. na call get uko na eh hey, nakumbuka. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> na call get tunafuta hivi. Hey. So niko na hiyo privilege. Yeah. So iko anga part of my life. Mm. Ilikuwa tu just a way of, mm. of making things that iko easy kwangu. Easy in high school. Yeah. Mm. Wewe mm. igitao mm. mwanaume. Mm. Ulienda ukaambia wazazi wako unataka kwenda kusomea nywele. Walikubali. <laughs> How was that? Ilikuwa ngumu. And since I'm the first born in my family, mm. it was the hardest decision for my parents kukubali nifanye kazi that at that time it was basically dominated by women sure so it was so hard for me mm. kuingia kwa hair industry mm. at that time mm. but me had the passion mm. lakini hiyo passion siko najua niko nayo mm. sababu it all started from mm. high school mm. pole pole too mm. it was just building up mm. but nikiwa high school ungeniambia nitafanya kazi yenyewe ile singekubali mm. when i talked to mama it was so easy for me mm kusoma. Mm. Nikiingia tu kwa kwa teacher yako anatuwa mtanga teacher edu. Mm. Akitionyesha kitu kwa class. Mm. The next the next day ni mimi naonesha watu wengine. Mm. Akionyesha kitu kwa class the next day naonesha watu wengine. So, so optimum it, ulifanya a certificate in what ama what is the course inaitwa aje ulifanya? Ulifanya kitu inaitwa eh at that time mm. tuli tuli kwa fanya hair and beauty. Mm-hmm. All of it. Mm. Eh? Mm. All of it naita cosmetology. Okay. Eh, okay. A diploma in cosmetology. How long did it take? It took 8 uh, months. 8 months. Yeah. Okay. Kwa fanya the whole thing, the whole mm. course. Mm. But kusema tu kweli mimi sikumaliza. Mhm. Ulifanya for how long? Nilifanya for 4 months. The rest of the four months is in the I was working. So mbona hukumaliza? Sikumaliza kwa sababu nilikuwa naona it was so easy for me. Okay, I I, get I, you. Hii maneno imekuwa rahisi imeingia already tu kwa mikono tu. Nikifanya funzo hii, nikiona hii, 
Ukifanya nini? At that time hata kuona na kuwa na hii unahitaji YouTube. Mhm. Mm yeah, kwa kwa sasa mm. ni kuonesha watu, kuonesha nikikuja nikienda kwa salon nikiona mtu mwingine akifanya kazi. Kiona mtu akifanya kitu inaingia tu wenyewe tu. So, I used to even to dream na naota nikitufanya wenyewe nikitengeza nywele at that time. <laughs> So, after four months, we were you are ready for the market. In fact, we were ready for the market. In fact, we were ready for the the next time, we were ready for the next time. 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 We so nilikuwa naenda na toa t-shirt uh -huh. ya, ya, ya shule ya college na <laughs> t-shirt yangu uh -huh. na sneak back kwa salon uh -huh. na tengeneza huyu customer uh -huh. na rudi natoka ninaenda na rudi na rudi kwa class uh -huh. yeah so optimum ili, ni wapi hiyo college that time optimum ni huko fika so ushakuja fika ushakuja fika eh aya for months uka shule ukasikia sasa uko sawa kazi ya kwanza uliajiriwa uli wapi nilijiriwa kwa the same same college mm -hmm. ilikuwa na salon mm -hmm. ilikuwa naitwa optimum hair and beauty college mm -hmm. and salon mm -hmm. ya jamaa anaitwa Mongai mhm mm is famous in pika mm -hmm. watu wanamjua mm -hmm. so nikafanya mm -hmm. kazi kwa Mongai mm -hmm. so at that time mm -hmm. in fact Mongai ndio alini welcome in pika mm -hmm. at that time mm -hmm. anikakuja I, I was amongst the people when you are the your college yake mm. because I was amongst the first student mm. from Mongai mm. in that college. Mm. So I was in the same same salon. Mm. I worked there for at most one and a half years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At one and a half years. Mm -hmm. From then now I was in my first salon. Uh, after working for four months, you yeah. were one and a half years. Yeah ukafungua hiyo yeah. salon. Yeah. How long was that? Tunaweza kumbuka ilikuwa mwaka gani ilifungua salon? 206. 2006. 2006. Ukifungua ulikuwa na employees wangapi ama ni wewe peke yako? I was the only person. Mhm. Mm Mimi nilikuwa ng'a receptionist, mm -hmm. nilikuwa kinyozi, mm -hmm. nilikuwa mimi ndo shampoo boy. Mhm. Mimi nilikuwa nina ndanafungua kazi mimi mm. nilikuwa ninaosha towels mm. mwenyewe mm. naosha huko chini mm. everything mm. i was just alone mm. yeah, that time so i went to open a salon in i had nothing completely mm -hmm. in a place called in Thika 2 mm -hmm. building it was a tabby house mm -hmm. first floor mm. so surprisingly mm -hmm. after one week mm kapata nikapata nikapata one of the student alikuwa alikuwa anajifunza in one of the colleges in Thika mhm mm aitwa Uzuri mhm mm alikuwa anapita hapo tu mhm mm anaingia akaangalia akamza yes can i help you mhm yeye ndiye alikuwa kwa mtu wangu wa kwanza wa kazi aha aka akasema kai yeye yeah. anaona ni kama yeah. Kauliza, anaweza kwa kuja hapo akiangalia kenye naendelea You know the way people are called interested to know Yes Akiangalia kitu kwa naendelea mm. Nika mpati ya pamisha kwa mbia haina problem mm. Binyali kuja mm. She was so good, talented mm. in plating mm. Kumuka anaitwa Ruth mm. Opanga mm. Sasa niye tunifanya na ye job mm -hmm. With the time mm. Kenda tu with challenges Kapata another person Another lady, mm -hmm. what you can do with mm -hmm. time to mm -hmm. clients of a new. I win the loyalty of your clients, mm -hmm. clients of a kuja too, Niki Watang and Zanga too, with the time, with the time. Mm -hmm. So the Nikapata employees of a poor, for what to call the Konawa to six of them. But mm -hmm. only Tabby House, Tabby House, mm -hmm. in a small room. Mm -hmm. Ikakua operating Uku in Konashida. Mm -hmm. Class of India, Waki Fika Watatu. Mm -hmm zaidi ya watu kufika wanne mm. place inakuwa congested mm. so the plans on plans no one name here mm. as it to call six of, of us mm. so you see that karum kalikuwa kadogo sana mm. inakuwa kuna space ya kufanya kazi mtu ambie challenges as a man mm. in this industry mm. challenges gani zile umepitia challenge ya kwanza ni kujichallenge ni mwenyewe 
since I loved her, mm. me money alianza na kushuka nywele. Like okay. this. Uh-huh. People know me with this, with this design. Uh-huh. Ya nywele. Mm. So wata kukuja fika, mm. kuliza tu, uso jama ameshuka nywele. Mm. So sasa since mi niliona, hata mwana ume aneda shuka nywele. Sata si tukona nywele. Mm. Na mi siwe ni kama nubaya kushuka nywele. Mm. So wakati ni shuka nywele ni kuja fika, mm. I had so many challenges. Mm negative challenges mm. wengine ni positive mm. yeye yeah, unakaa poa eh kwa nini shuka nywele nasimamishwa hata na watu huko nje mm. bora unashuka nywele mm. so with the time mm. people came to accept me the way ya another challenge ilikuwa ni mm. kutengeneza ladies mm-hmm. in a salon mm. mtu anakuja anauliza nani anatengeneza nywele mhm ni huyo kijana hey, hapana <laughs> And at that time I could accept kitu kama hiyo. Mm. In fact in in in, in Tika, mm. at that time kulikuwa na very few hairdressers, male mm. hairdressers. Mm. It was Mongai the owner of that salon. Mm-hmm. Now and few other people kasa mm. na mimi. Mm. So since mimi nikunga mniu in this industry, mm. you see lazima u build clientele. Mm. Sasa ilikuwa ni difficult to convince someone kuja shukani. Mm. Unless ilikuwa ni this small ladies mwenyewe maybe ameona hey unajua mm. lakini hao wengine mm. it was so hard for them to make them to make their hair mm. sababu ya hiyo hiyo kulikuwa perception hiyo perception hiyo mm. as in you are a man mm. kwani unatengenza nywele mm. you are not supposed to, to do this this is for you see that kitu imekuwa kwa kwa tradition ya, ya watu for so mm. long mm. that you must be a lady kutengenza nywele mm. Another challenge ni kuja kupata mm. this industry is that mm. people don't expect you mm-hmm. uku umesoma okay yes the way of fanya ikazi mm. but expect you are a failure in life mm. you must be a dropout mm. you must be someone when you, this is the this is the end option mm. for now mm. your life mm. for you to become a hairdresser mm. but You see. Mm. Na kwambia watu kwamba this is not the only this is not this is not this is not the the last the last and the least thing unaweza fanya in life kwa mm. sababu this is what I've been doing for the rest since I was since I ni, ni maza high school. Mm. Eh lakini unajua kuna watu wanaye ku make ni kama this is the worst job. Mm. This is job for the failures. Mm. Kwa lazima kuwa wewe ni mtu mbure kabisa ndio fanye mm. uh, dressing. Mm. But this is a profession. Mm. Sasa mm. you that was another thing. Mm. Eh yeah, don't people don't expect you wanna wanna expect wewe uko wewe ni mtu mbure tu in society. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So those things mm. those are the challenges mm. which we pata. Mm. Another challenge mm. is to cop up na new style, mm. new trend. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu mm wakati nilikuwa kwa industry mm. nilikuwa kwa industry mm. kulikuwa na other styles zenye zilikuwa ziko size ni outdated mm. vitu kama waves zika unazijua vitu kama sangita mm-hmm. those zilikuwa size hakuna mtu anataka kufanya vitu kama hizo mm. so we have to catch up mm. with new styles mm. so hizo changes ziko mm. ziko kwa hairdressing mm. like right now mm. we have different colors mm tuko na different haircuts mm. different styles mm. different types kama ni kuweka kucha mm. eh mm. tuko na different na technology mm. you have to catch up mm. with things mm. things inafanyika instead you have to learn maybe online mm. yeah mm. so if you are not quick in ya kushika new style mm. uko rigid mm. inakuwa so hard for you to, be, to survive in this industry mm. yeah sasa uh, bado hatujatoka kwa hii pandemic ya corona mm-hmm. the last two years biashara nyingi zimefunga especially yeah. salons yeah. watu wengi wamenyoa nywele they are not going to the salon mm-hmm. but you're still operational ni principles gani zimekuguide that umeweza kuwa bado unaendelea as for me i accept it and every challenge mm. you take it as as, as it comes mm. let's say for example kuna wewe ulikuwa na dreadlocks 
you want to you want to cut your hair. Mm. Kitambo we used to tembeleza watu. Hapana mm. usinyoe, usikanyoe hii nini kwa sababu mm. you see mm. mtu akinyoa mm. you see like the end of it. Mm. Inakuwa the end of 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 you coming to the salon. Mm. But as we accept the challenges even is na kuja na changes. Mm inakuwa much easier for you to cope in this industry mm. sababu nikikunyoa mm. nikunyoa with a passion na kunyoa a good hairstyle mm. na kupaka color mm. na na hiyo shave inaenda kujisele mwenyewe mm. there are people who wenye wanapenda kunyolewa nyole mm. so if they see that hair cut mm. they will ask you umelewa mm. yeah mm. so that's the only thing of kwa sababu ukisema ati you have to rely on one thing mm. inakuwa ni ngumu mm. tumenyoa watu wengi sana during this time mm. wakifikiria maybe mm. is a way of cutting cost, cost. Yeah. but it's also a way of advertising mm. no na mm. so there are people who wants to cut their hair mm. and washinao watanyolewa na nani mm. watanyolewa wapi mm. but since we were going to join you lewa mm. and in your environment mm. kuna watu walikuwa wanataka kunyolewa mm. so they envy you and they ask you manyolewa wapi mm. So it's another strategy of just doing marketing mm. in a different way in mm. a just a unique way of it mm. yeah mm. Sasa kuna kijana yuko pale mm. specifically a man who wants to get into this uh, business ya yeah, hairdressing anataka kusomea hii kazi mm. lakini you know as a man anaona ni kama watu hawataona kama ako serious unaweza kumpatia advice gani ni nini imekuwa ina ku keep going that as a man uko nje kukutana na wanaume wengine watu wakisema ile kazi wanafanya you you're a hairdresser yeah. and you're very comfortable with it unaweza patia kijana yuko nyumbani advice gani ama mzazi mwenye kijana wake anamwambia anataka kusomea hair hairdressing to start with naweza kuwa nime inspire someone else kufanya hii hii kazi mm. mostly vijana mm. at the moment mm. o, o, according to society watu wako naona vijana nataka nikufanya hii kazi mm. but god have been idea i've been mm. holding strong mm. hii kazi ni kama kazi hiyo nyingine mm. any other person can do mm na siku hizi hakuna kuchagua kazi. Mm. Ukichagua kazi mm. life in it, it might it, that might be the best thing to do to, for you for you to do in life. Mm. Kwa sababu nauliza hivi. Mm. Engineering mm-hmm. iko na ladies. Mm. I mean, doctors. Mm. Iko na all kind of people. Mm. Any other profession teaching mm whether you are a professor ama nini mm. iko na all gender mm. kwa nini hairdressing ndio inachaguliwa peke yake mm. ikose kuwa na body gender mm. that's why you see that people just want to discriminate this part of it ikuwe ni kama mm. is a one gender job mm. na mm. nimi naweza encourage mtu wote that this young men mm. usikajaribu kama uko na passion in hairdressing mm. just do it but mm. you know kuna challenges zinazokuwa mm. you have to overcome those mm. challenges for you to be where you are mm. yeah mm. now tell me uh, sahi umeemploy watu wangapi generally mm. it's around 15 people mm-hmm. depending on the season maybe this season ya corona mm. the people will do wengine wali lay back wengine mm. waka waka travel wengine mm. wakaenda other places mm. other women 15 before mm. who are working here mm. na that one in exclude those people the other people work for for me, maybe man ya kuosha lakini in her dressing yake yeah, okay. alafu ladies ni wangapi na men ni wangapi we are almost 50 50 here okay yeah mm. kwa sababu I encourage men to do hair dressing too. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kwa sababu I've met so many, many of them, mm, especially majama. Mm. Ukikuja huku unashindwa mm, nitaweza kweli. Mm, so I mentor them into 
hair dressing. Mm. Now and here, you have to do this. This one, utafanya tu. Usiku kuna wasi wasi. Mm. Don't mind. Minye kutaenda. Yeah. Usika jali, jali manana ya watu. Kenya yeah. unataongea. Yeah. yeah. At the moment, we have 15. Mm. Eh, na sasa, kuna unetana ni subordinate staff. Eh. Hawa wengine wa kuna wasa kuna hawa wengine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sasa kuna kitu nilikuwa nataka nikurudishe nyuma kidogo. Yeah. Ulianza pale Tabi House yeah. in a small room. Yeah. Ndio ukuje sasa where we are right now. Uh, ebu tupeleke through hiyo safari, your first salon. Ni mistakes gani uli make ukiwa pale? That you mm. build on mm. mpaka umeweza kujiestablish sasa vizuri. Kenya na sema, sisi rely sana on the mistakes, mm -hmm. lakini mm -hmm. ni salani experience. Mm -hmm. Kitambo I used to, to say, I used to, I used to fear people. I used to fear clients. Mm -hmm. I used to fear them in such a way that mta kikuja mm -hmm. na new style mm -hmm. minaogopa. Minaogopa to venture into it. Mm -hmm. Unuwa ni kama how to venture. Mm -hmm. But later I came to discover that Hakunanga new style and Hakunanga old style. Mm. What you believe in yourself mm. is what builds you. You come out with your car and a bike. You can a bike. So that car comes to a child, a bike, a casa, and a bike. Out of his acre, out of your cubo, but a joke on a bike too. So those are the things that you learn. Mm. You do not get to come up by scale, a simple thing. Mm. That the moment you may answer your kitten on a shy fine antenna, mm. it will never get out of you. So ni kwa na ugopanga ku, 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 kuchukua big jobs, mm. corporate jobs, mm. kuitu wapahali kama, kama beauty contest, mm -hmm. my events, ni kwa na ugopa, mm. kama rusi, mm. mm. rusi na ugopa. Mm. So I learned, those are the mistakes ni kwa na make. Mm. Lakini siku hizi, hiyo iliisha, ni kwa na kume ni kwa 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 Beauty contest, mm. Jackie Watt, mm. KU, mm. those days when Metro used to be Metro, mm -hmm. you, you, you know Metro Club, mm -hmm. those days people mm. are what to Kenya, where to Kenya, what so many places I've traveled, I've seen so many people, mm. so many hairstyles. Mm. Right now, I could to say that I'm going to say that i a celeb, mm -hmm. you those two people are going to be a musician, a musician, a politician. You know, you know, you know, you know, but those are the mistakes I used to make. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, those mistakes is not believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. But those are small things nowadays. You are a business legit. You are a man. Mambo is going to be a man. Sawa, sawa. Santi sana. Mm -hmm for your time na for sharing your story. We hope kuna kijana pale nje ataona kwamba hairdressing pia ni legit business. Kabisa. Na unaweza earn na. For, so for how many years have now have you done this hey, collectively? Hey, hey, Lakini hey. tuachane na high school. Hey, hey. Sasa after so high school. Kama miaka yangu yote. All your and, life. Eh kama all my life. So hakuna kitu kingine wewe ushaifanya. The this is what I love most. Mm. Ataka nishaifanya vitu zingine. Mm. But 90% of my life of working now, because mm. you're not giving you, mm. as in you're earning for a living, just here. Mm. And I love it. I think I encourage sana parents. I'm going to talk to you. I'm interested in the other apart from hairdressing. Mm any other thing mm. unaweza muachilie tu wafanye tu mm. kwa sababu unaona kama mimi nilifanya like nazama nilifanya hair dressing kuanzia form 2 lakini siko na jua so when i came to college it was so easy for me yeah. it was just flowing yeah, yeah? yeah. so unaweza sema 90% nimefanya hair 90% of my life nimefanya hair dressing mm. people know me for hair mm. ukiuliza dv fika Minyuele tu. Mm. Ya, yeah, hakuna kitu mbiti. Tueleze, unapatika na wapi? Yeah, Watu kata. wakitaka kukuja for services, where mm. can they find you? Devi Salon is in Tika Town. Mm. Eh, Rafiki House. 
for those people who don't know Rafiki House landmark ni kwa hapa next ni tunasema kwa chupa ya Coca-Cola kwa roundabout kwa chupa ya Coca-Cola or next to United's Bank or the old Matthais Market eh uh, on Facebook ni Davis Hair Care Salon Pika eh uh, Twitter Davis Hair Care at Davis Hair Care Instagram mm-hmm. page mm-hmm. Davis Hair Care na naweza sema mm-hmm. most of the salons in Pika mhm kwa kupitia hapa kwangu okay i can mention a few mm-hmm. but wanajijua mm-hmm. like most of the people wanya kupitia hapa mm-hmm. nimewa mentor nimefanya mm-hmm. kazi na wao mm-hmm. they have seen the skills nishaikuwa nao mm-hmm. so i usually go even visit them in their salons mm-hmm. and i'm proud for what they are mm. right now mm. kwa sababu walishapitia hapa na wajua mm. na sometimes nikiwa nikiona wanatumia some of the method ninatumia at my place mm. i'm happy mm. i'm happy for them that is good yeah mm. yeah phone number oh phone number mm. is 0721 879 661 ndio 0721 879 661 That was David Njogu Getao of Davis Hair Care. Thank you very much for joining us in this issue of this episode of Hasole Yangu. This is 3T TV, Thika Town TV, your number one online TV station where we are telling the Thika story as it is. I've been your host Juliet Modoni. Do not forget to subscribe and share. Keep safe.